you live on Debate Talk for you. Any questions or comments? <clears throat> yeah, uh, I was just uh, want to say I enjoyed uh, uh, the, the show. Uh, ben Trey Reed done did his research because when uh, Raheem Ali was speaking, you know, I was getting a little like, hold on, that's error, 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 error. I even hit Ben Trey on the uh, I am on Facebook like, man, you know this? <laughs> So, uh, but he <clears throat> he handled it handled it very well, and um, the brother is real good at articulation, man. I wish I had the gift that uh, Ben Trey had, man, because he can articulate some where it's really easy to be understood. My gift personally is uh, I'm able I know where all the scriptures at. You know what I'm saying? If you need a scripture, tell me. Just give me two words, and I know where it's at. But he is able to articulate, because I could read them to you. I can't make you understand them, but he can make you understand them and read them to you. You know what I'm saying? So all glory go to the most high in the name of the Lord Jesus. I deal with the name of Jesus. I don't know about nobody else. But uh, but uh, to give uh, Mr. Reed a little more ammo, um, in the Quran, and he was correct when he said towards the end, and I don't even know why a, a person who dealing with the Quran talking about biblical errors, and he don't even deal with the Bible. The Quran subscribes and tells you that you need to deal with the Evangel, the, uh, the Torah, you know, and the prophets, but most uh, Arabs don't. And the reason why... Uh, Rahim Ali has the position that he has that the Bible has errors is because it is in the interests of the Ishmaelites to prescribe that the Bible does have errors because this Bible or the, <clears throat> this information was given to the Israelites. And then if we read in uh, Psalm 183, it tells us that Ishmael along with uh, you know the Gentile nations as well as the Edomites conspired to uh, cause the name of Israel to cease from among nations. And how you do that, you take all their information that they have away from them, uh, you take their land and you take their culture and you take their language, and that's how you get rid of a people. So I just wanted to say a uh, great job, Ben Trey Reed. You're doing a very good job, uh, uh, very, very good articulation of the word, man. I am very impressed with you. And uh, Raheem Ali, uh, you know, I want to say you're a good brother overall, and I think you are, you know, you got a good heart, but, man, you need to come on over here to this book and, and quit dealing with that Islam. So with that, thank you, Brother Sal. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. You're always bringing the good, the good fire. So with that, I yield. I appreciate your call, brother. Peace. As-salamu alaykum. This is your brother Raheem once again investigator reporter this is Raheem versus Hezekiah part 2 and after this I will never do anything about this dude because he's irrelevant I just want you people to see the stupidity that this man presents to the world and he basically said it himself Basically, if you heard what he said, he told the world that he can get the scriptures, he can find them, which I doubt. And he's good at that, but he can't articulate well. My thing is, if you know you can't articulate the scriptures, but only can read them how are you going to tell me something about how to read the, the Bible okay see I've been on that side before you can never say you've been on the side of Islam okay I've been I've been on both sides so I don't know what you're talking about if you can't articulate your scriptures which is the most idiotic thing I have heard coming out your mouth besides the point of 
Islam being made by the Catholic Church and you using a freaking comic book to prove your point. This is like the second most idiotic thing you have said. If you can't articulate your own scriptures, why do you debate? I've, I've heard you debate. And once, one time you just got, got upset, and I have to say it again, y'all game saying, y'all game saying. They asking you questions, y'all game saying. You sound crazy. If you can't articulate your book, stay the heck out of the arena of debating. Just stop. Because it makes no sense. If you know that you can't articulate, you said it yourself. The Muslims didn't do it. These so-called Ishmaelite. What is an Ishmaelite? Are you crazy? I mean, for real, for real. Are you crazy? We are Muslims. We don't run around calling ourselves Ishmaelites. And another thing, there were many variations of Muslims. Arabs just didn't come out of the Ishmael lineage. There were Muslims before Ishmael. There were Arabs before Ishmael. Matter of fact, I can show you the first Arab in your Bible that predated Noah. In your own book. So let's not even go there. Y'all want me to talk about Ishmael so bad. If so, if you want to uh, debate me about Ishmael and Isaac, call Sal. I got something for that. Being the only, Isaac being the only son, I got something for that. If you want to be stupid enough because you claim you can't articulate your book, you want to debate me, Set that up with Sal. Is Isaac the only son? The begotten son of Abraham. Set that up. But anyway, you have absolutely no business in the arena of debating. Now you say the Ishmaelites are supposed to have this agenda or had an agenda to take away the Israelites' uh, language, book, or whatever you was talking about. It makes no sense. First of all, Yahweh put curses on the Ish Israelites. And you should know this because of all the laws they broke. Okay. Are you going to go to a law or Yahweh and get mad at him? Because the Israelites kill their own prophets, kill their own brethren, stole. They broke all the commandments. They broke them all. And I had a debate and I showed that. They broke the law constantly. So don't blame their past stupidity on Edom or the Edomites or the Ishmaelites or, or whoever. They dug a hole for themselves so deep they can't get out. That is why they put in the book a second covenant, which is not coming. It's not coming. It came, and it's already here that you're supposed to take. See, you don't even know that the covenant came here already. Jesus gave you the instruction, but I'm not going to sit here and give you the uh, verses where he gave you an instruction to follow because you're supposed to know your book as you said you know the book you know how to go to them books 
to the to them verses. Then you said the most repugnant thing. You said I need to come on over. Come on over to what? I can chat I bet you I can ask you five questions to show you're not practicing what you preach from your own book. I can ask you five questions. Just five. And show the people you're not following your own book. Most of you guys are not following your book. You don't practice no purification laws. Nothing. I can prove it. You want to step up to the plate and be stupid enough to get asked those questions? Step up to the plate. Two five two. You have a question or a comment? Peace, brother Sal. This is uh Raheem Ali. What's going on, brother? What's up, Raheem? What's good? What's going on, man? Well, basically, I'm 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 Muslim, and I'm coming from a Muslim perspective. But also, the Muslim way is also just like the Hebrew way because they're both. Um, Semitic. Most of the Eastern uh, cultures went by lunar and not by solar. So when Genesis uh, 1, chapter five, uh, verse 5 says, And God called the light the day and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. In the East, when it starts into the evening, that would be that would count into going into that that first day. The moon is what tells the time and your months and all of that. That's what the moon do. The sun is there just for you to know the difference between day and night. That's all the sun there for. But the moon is the time teller. So I agree uh, with uh, 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 Brother Ali, and he is from uh, uh, an Arabic perspective. So there you go there, too. So I yield. How these cats work, they don't want to be confronted, but they want to confront. They don't want you to tell them to come over to your faith. But they're constantly telling you to come over there. <laughs> Real, that, that's that's crazy. Anyway, peace.